Welcome to a new update video. In the last two weeks we focused on getting the market gardening starting, not just the small plants that we need to plant already, but also to prepare the beds that still have to be done and improve some small things around our market gardening. And as always there are some last minute projects that we're starting in the workshop. As we held one of our Mima Vs again, where we got a lot of help from nice friends, we started preparing beds. And compared to last year, we are already ahead of preparing them. As we have 55 beds to prepare this year, we are lucky to be so far ahead. Something that worked very well last year is the onions and garlics, which we have planted in fall of the last year. But last year we just planted one bed and it was mixed with the two cultures. We have close to 10 times more of them than we had last year. And what you can see here is that our radish, which we seeded in the last video, is already growing. We used the nice weather and made the drone shot from the current stage of the market garden. Here you can see that we already are able to plant our kohlrabis. One of the smaller improvements that we have to do, you can see me doing here, which is having a, a rack where we can put all our hoses. As we have many of them laying around and taking up a lot of space, we want to put them on the wall. Compared to the last year where our main focus was to build the whole infrastructure, this year we will concentrate a little bit more of quality of life improvements. One thing that we are especially proud about is that our young plants look way better this year than in the last year. This is for sure partly due to the fact that we have our special room to grow them indoors, as well as we are way better in the planning this year already.
something that has to be done nearly on a daily basis is separating the small upcoming plants from each other and putting them into separate plastic cups, which is an interesting combination of being a tedious job and a meditative work when you are in the flow. One of the last remaining big infrastructure projects is our storage room, which you already have been seeing us digging out a little bit more. Now it's time to fit in the infrastructure which we need, like racks for the boxes, lights and ventilation, and of course electricity itself. In the first step here you can see us building up the racks. One of our neighbors had some hardwood laying around, which you built up 15 years ago. It's perfectly dried, but somewhat worm infested. Some cracks and knots in it, which we will want to cut out as this rack will have to hold up close to a ton of vegetables. Any imperfection makes the wood weak and less structural. After I have examined the board and chosen which length we can use, I cut a clear edge on them and then gave it to Nini. Nini then takes the boards and cuts them into stripes or beams that we later on can properly use for the rack. And after a long day on the table saw, we ended up with quite a stack of wood. In a second step, those beams to the length that we need and avoid any cracks in it, which have formed due to the drying process. And onwards to the most repetitive step, which is planing all the planks to a right angle and then running them through the thicknesser to have the right dimensions.
off camera we started preparing the joinery which is basically just a half overlapping joint. For this first part we're doing it by hand and the circular saw but I do think for the next time I will prepare a jig for the router as it takes a lot of time to clean up this joint. Although I would miss this part of cleaning up the joints, as it is rather satisfying. And as I have forgotten to turn on the camera, you missed all the interesting stuff about the glue up. But this is the final product. Now we have to repeat this eight more times. Yahoo! Once again, we were gifted by our lovely neighborhood. We got some raspberries which were growing too wild and had to be cut down otherwise. We found a nice spot in our food forest, or to become food forest, and planted them. But in that particular spot which we had in mind, we first had to get rid of some nasty wild hummingbears. 